It doesn't make any sense. None of it does. Why would Declan do that? He was always a stand-up cop. Now he's a crime boss? No time to think about it. Right now, we need to get to that dead drop. Nick probably gathered enough evidence to reveal what Declan was up to. Our word against his won't cut it. That stick is the only way we'll take him down. Or maybe you could just stay out of this? Declan's trying to save his skin. If you go against him on that promontory, he'll be trapped in a corner. This isn't a game. This isn't a puzzle. And you're dealing with a man whose go-to solutions to problems has been to kill them away. Is this why you told Joe you wouldn't keep Anna safe? To not feel guilty? You can't bring Nick back, but you can still save yourself and Anna. Breathe. Focus. Think it through. Declan's already killed two people. Sam, I know it's been a rough day, but you're freaking me out. Stop zoning out. We're just about there, and I need you to help me figure out our next steps. Next steps? At a place where someone might put a bullet through your head. No, no, that's too dramatic. Stop it! I'm not doing anything. Other than trying to save your life, you're not thinking clearly. What are you looking at? You're focused on finding the facts and not focused on the very real dangers. You need to focus on the road, not on whatever daydream you're lost in. Just... just stop. You're the one that needs to stop. Sam, you're going too fast. You need to stop. Leave me Sam, alone. stop it. Sam, Sam, Sam stop! Sam, there's a turn. Stop! Stop! Sam, stop! Stop! Stop the car! Sam, are you okay? You nearly got us killed. I need... I need a moment. Take your moment, but make it quick. We're already at the promontory. We need to find that dead drop before Declan gets here. We need to talk. Yes, Sam, it's time. Ah, uh, what's happening? Sam, I can't. Where are you going? Get back here! I'm trying, but it's not working. Ah! No! Ah! Losing control of my own mind. Where are you? Can you hear me? Can you even hear me? Oh, fine. I'll come to you. What? I got a feeling I'm not gonna like this. Do not freak out. You've been through this before. Ugh, I'm back in the same room again. There's got to be a logic to this place. I just need to figure out what it is. Stick to the fundamentals. Breathe. Focus. You can make it out. It still keeps going. It feels like I'm trapped in a maze. The question is, where does it lead? There you are. You and I need to talk. What? What's happening? Remember the facts, Sam. That's how you'll get through this. I'm losing control of my own mind again. I'm almost making it a habit. At least I'm not being chased this time. Right? Wonder what's in store for me now.
Do you think you know who Nick was? Mr. Perfect? Give me a break. You have no idea. No one in this town does. Anyway, cheers to Nick. A man that, unlike us, people actually like. They both deserve to be happy. Is that? Your mother told me what happened. I know she's always pushing you to make friends. Yeah. Well, she's just afraid you'll end up alone. She doesn't want you to be unhappy. Is she happy? Not always. But I'm not always happy either. Being happy isn't everything. I'd say it's more important to find out who you want to be than to be happy. Here, I brought you something. It's so clear. I can see it all at once. That's what gives it strength. It has nothing to hide. It can see itself for what it really is. And that lets it see everything. It's not a flaw. It's a gift. Like a, a superpower, you know? When the world is a storm, you stand calm at the center. Now, I need to have a real talk with myself. Where are you? You and me, Sam, we can do this. What? Which one are you? Sam, come with me! You and me, Sam, we can do this. You and me, Sam, we can do this. Sam, put that away. Come on. I don't want a ring. I don't need a ring. Listen to her. Sometimes there's not a right thing to say. I thought that's what we were supposed to do. I'm sorry, I just, I just wanted to fix things. Sam, did you really think doing something neither of us wanted would fix anything? Don't leave, Muley. I don't have a lot of friends. No one at school talks to me, and you promised. Explain yourself to her, or try to, as best you can. She deserves that. It's not you, Bug. It's this town. It's Anna. It hurts, and I can't stay. 
None of that is my fault. I know, but I still have to go. It's not fair. I understand, but it's not fair. I guess you finally win for once. leaving town just like that. Not even an explanation. He cares. Tell him how much you hurt. Everyone in town hates me. I think Anna hates me. I, I think I hate me. I have to get away from this place or I'm gonna die here. Inside at least. I get it. Just know I've always got your back. No matter where you go. I know you don't want to talk about it, but he's your son. I know the real you is here. The rest are just illusions. I they just want to put useless labels on it. conversation was over. He's not having a good time at school. He has trouble socializing. Ah, oh, what does that even mean? He's having some trouble making friends, that's all. He's always talking to himself, to his imaginary friend. Imaginary? I had one at his age. If you had real friends, he talks to himself more than he talks to other people. You should consider what the one teacher mentioned. He doesn't need remedial classes. They just want to put useless labels on him. They're not remedial. Your program's meant to help him with his social skills. It could be good for him. But my son is not going to be in some dunce class. You were there when no one else was. And you've been there every step I've taken since. I'm ready. coming here. You know? You might have done some real good with Joan. Though you wouldn't let Anna back in. I don't blame you. That's hard.
I'm doing my best with what I have. I'd say we've had a good thing going. It was tough, but you made compromises. You adapted to other people. Wasn't it nice to feel accepted? We've had our moments, but they never felt authentic. I understand why you'd feel that way. The two halves of your world, they just don't mix. There's Sam, the well-adjusted human. And there's Sam, the depressed, truth-obsessed misanthrope, who doesn't realize objective reality is a subjective myth. I'll tell you what the truth is. To be happy, sometimes you need to focus on people and not things. You make it sound so easy. I'm not sure I'm ready to let it go. It'll take a lot of work, but we can get you there. No one can enjoy life when they've got the weight of the world on their shoulders. What about the world? Everything has a price. Look, you've been helping me for a long time. Even now, my world may fall apart, you'd still be here. Of course, though you did handle your panic attacks just fine on your own lately. But we both know I can't be split in two directions. I have to pick a track. Go along with me, be a part of society, be happy. Let things go, accept the expectations of others. Stop pretending you're someone else or keep looking for a truth that may not exist and leave everyone else behind. But seeing the world for what it is, being able to make a difference, no matter the consequences. It's time, two roads and you can only take one. is worth more than any of us. Damn society. Damn being happy. I was afraid you'd say that. But you have to be you. I'll see you around. No, you won't, Sam. But good luck. The world is an ugly place when you can really see it. Sam, we don't have time for this. No cell reception. If anything happens, we're on our own. Declan could be here already. I should be careful.
finally pull yourself out of your days long enough to join me. You really scared me there. I think all that stress got me there, but I'm better now. I've got myself focused and together. I'm with you on this. It's good to hear you're back. I'm hoping this is the end of all this, one way or another. So much darkness, so fast. Nick, Dennis, I'm ready to see it end. This would be a lot worse if I didn't have someone else here with me. Sam, we can get all sappy once this is all over. Now we need those files. I can't find them anywhere. Did Dickie say where the dead drop was? He didn't. We'll have to keep looking for it. Did you already go through that side? I've been looking everywhere. So far, all I've found is a lot of gum under tables. Declan could be here any minute. Let's hurry it up. Found it. You did? Let me see. With this? We'll be able to put Declan behind bars and clear your name. Come on. Hold it there, boss. Whoa. Declan. Now, you two just relax. I think we're here for the same reason. Now, all you have to do is give me what you found in that there lockbox. You... How could you look everyone in the eye and lie to them? You went to his wake? You drank with his friends? Yeah. It was harder than you think. Tell me what happened with Nick. Why did you kill him? Same thing that happened to you. He saw an opening and jumped in it. He started asking questions, never actually thought he'd find answers. But he did. And then he kept playing with fire, so he got burned. So that's it. You killed him because he did his job. Don't start thinking I enjoyed doing it. It just had to be done. It was just the same as with that drunk fool, Dennis. All I wanted was to see how much he knew and get him to keep his mouth shut. Turns out he knew more than he should have. It doesn't have to end the same way this time. There's always another option. Almost sounds like you wising up some, Higgs. Doesn't look like you're willing to take the same fall from two years ago. Fuck that common good shit, right? You're no different from the people you used to put in jail. How do you live with yourself, knowing what you sell is destroying people? Grow up, Sam. Anyone would do the same if they had the chance. Everybody's happy to shake my hand and say how grateful they are. But as soon as you turn around, they'll stab you in the back. Eventually, I realize that's how people are. The only thing left is to adapt. Help keep a lid on things. And if someone's got a profit, might as well be me. Nick and Dennis, that part wasn't supposed to happen. But here we are. And I'm done leaving behind loose ends. You asshole! Think and move fast. Stay one step ahead of Declan. If I make even a single mistake, there are no second chances this time. He murdered Nick, he murdered Dennis, and he'll murder us. If I can predict his next moves, we might be able to get the upper hand. Who he is will tell me what he'll do. could try going for his gun.
This is dangerous. I have to weigh my options carefully. No margin for error. I could grab his gun, but that would only work if Anna keeps Declan occupied. see me. I have to use this to my advantage. I should strike him on his blind side and use the element of surprise. But that'll only work if I can predict what he'll do next. Think, Sam. Anna's been shot. I need to help her, and fast. No more mistakes, Sam. Declan might go for his gun. If Declan tries to get his gun, he won't see an attack from the left. Give me the evidence. They'll maybe take it from your dead body. Here. I hope you choke on <laughs> If I don't do something, we're dead. If I do the wrong thing... I have to stay focused. Account for all the elements at play here. Anna almost got shot again. I can't make any more mistakes. I could try calling for help. Going for the phone would bring Declan's focus onto me. But if the phone gets damaged, I might not be able to use it later. No one's coming to help you. No! Anna? Can you hear me? I need you to stay with me. I need you to...
This is one funeral I can't avoid. Sam, you got a moment? I hope you know you've got my honest sympathies. If there's anything the Basswood Police Department can do for you, or even just little old me, you give me a holler, all right? For now, I wanted to tell you, we found Declan's fingerprints on Dennis's gun. Dickie's statement also corroborates your testimony. No charges are going to be filed against you. It's clear self-defense. Still hard to believe a man I trusted was running a drug ring. Here. I'm going to make sure that what happened to Nick is big news. I know you will, sweetie. Just keep something in mind. I think God put an angel and a devil in each of us when we were born. We spend our whole lives watching them fight it out. And most days, that little angel comes out on top. But we all have times when it's the devil who's in charge. There's no devil or angel to blame. Declan became a dirty cop and you didn't see it. You're entitled to your opinion. Everyone is. No, I do my best. Anyway, I guess I've kept you long enough. I'll let you go now. Look after yourself, Sam. Though I guess you always do, huh? You can tell a lot about people just by paying attention. Well, I'm paying attention now. Hey, Ethan. Sam? I'm uh, not sure what to say. I know you and Anna were close. I I'm sorry about what happened. I appreciate that. Hey. Oh, you're never going to apologize for breaking in, huh? What an asshole. But I guess you have other things to worry about. It's been a hell of a week. So, you, uh... Holding up all right? No, I'm not. I never thought I'd have to bury Anna one day. Yeah, you and me both. Listen, uh, next time you're at the Haven, let me buy you a beer, all right? I'll probably take you up on that. I know how you feel. I miss her so much. I wish I hadn't given Anna such a hard time before. She didn't want to be a stepmother, and well, I didn't want to be a stepdaughter. But now, I don't know. I'll never know if it could have been okay. I shouldn't have told you about my dad. You sense that something was up. Why apologize for being right? That's true. <laughs> it just... If I hadn't said anything, this wouldn't have happened to Anna. But I was so mad about my dad. So mad that I couldn't even cry. Well, I couldn't until now. Until I finally knew what happened. And that makes me feel selfish. Like all of this happened because of me. Come here. So, 
it's not my fault. It isn't anyone's fault. No one alive, at least. I still feel bad. I know. But it's not your fault. Sam. Of course, she just walks off. I don't know how to reach that girl. It was hard before, but now she's completely shut me out. It's not surprising, given what happened. This town is no place for a teenager. Kathy, now is the time to get out of Basswood. You don't understand. It's not that easy to leave. You've always managed to get Joan to talk to you. Any advice? Kathy, when did you start taking opioids? What? What does that have to do with... What do you think happens if someone finds out and reports you? You could lose your job. How dare you? You don't know anything about what I've been through. I don't, but it doesn't change the facts. You need to get help. Oh, and who's gonna look after Joan in the meantime? Who'll pay for the treatment, huh? Don't you have family in the region? Well, I... There is my sister down in Virginia, but I... But you're not on good terms, Joan told me. Still, you don't have a choice if you intend to keep custody of her. You've always been a cold-hearted asshole. You know that? Do her a favor and forget about us for good this time. I'm so sorry. I should have stopped her. I knew she was in danger. You poker face has always been crap. But I trusted her. I trusted you. I couldn't imagine my little girl like this. I should have stopped you both. I should have killed that son of a bitch myself. I should, I should have locked her up in a room. I, I should have, I should have, I should have. My little girl. Oh, my little girl, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Sam, you're the only one who might know the pain I'm going through. For what it's worth, I'm here for you. It ain't worth nothing. Anna was, she was, words. You spend your whole life devoted to them, yet they fail you when you need them most. I miss her. I miss her. 
and uh, and I don't think I have anything else. I think you managed to give voice to the feelings of many of us here. You mind if I speak a little? I didn't know her as well as most of you. Of course, of course. Anyone can speak if they want to. I only knew Anna for a few years. But within that short time, she impressed me with her strength. She understood what really mattered wasn't herself, but something greater. The community around her, her friends, her loved ones. She was a true defender of the common good. The kind of person who's always looking after whoever is standing next to her. She was fearless. You only needed to look her in the eyes for a few seconds. Common good. I've heard that before. Common good. Common common good shit. Common good shit. Right. I know what she'll say. Calm down. Think of the common good. Don't understand. It's not that easy to leave. Kathy, could she be the supplier? Get out the way, out the way. Something's missing. How did Declan know I was meeting Dennis? Messed up Dennis pretty good last night. Go check on Joan. Who overheard me and Dennis talking? Who told Declan? Your barroom brawl. Best to prevent you from following that other man outside. Have you met Hugh? He took over the old pharmacy just after you left. Nick suspected a drug ring flourished after the mine closed. Honestly, afraid you'd end up like your friend. I'm in good. I'm in good. I'm in good. Compromising was never her way. She was ready to pay the ultimate price if it meant getting the truth out. Because Basswood meant more to her than her own life. We will honor her memory by keeping what she fought for. This community together. It's the least she deserves. There's drugs in them hills. That would have been Nick's title for this article. He would have started with a self-deprecating tirade about how he couldn't resist the joke. It would have been a good opening. He never wrote that article. It would have been about greed, drugs, and lies. Nick was found dead on the side of the road. It was called an accident. It wasn't. Now let me tell you a story about the men who murdered him and about the truth he died for. Well, folks, I hope you've got your seatbelts on because we got one nasty story coming up. Two years ago, West Virginia, 
A small mine in town loses its mind. Income plummets. Unemployment skyrockets. The stage is set for an unscrupulous pharmacist to roll into town. Two years later, over one million pills were shipped to the small West Virginia town of Basswood. Many sold right here on our streets. The article by journalist Samuel Higgs goes on. Information brought to light in this article led to the investigation of Hugh Kirkland, a seemingly respectable senior who turned out to be the mastermind behind this pill mill scheme. The Basswood Police Department is now under investigation. How a small town of Basswood can recover from such a blow is anyone's guess. All right, time to kick up your feet on the dashboard. When I hear the ghost hungry And I need the ghost wonder What it's like To be fed On the past For a body in the past And the dreams That don't